Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Now guys, I'm going to be doing a reading for you if you are dealing with a Scorpio. Now the Scorpio can be anybody to you, okay? You know, you know who they are. This is a general reading. Take the parts that resonate and leave the rest, okay? This is not a personal reading. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. All right, so let's see what the energy is. Give me the Scorpio's energy and show me going forward. Thank you, Scorpio. What is the energy between my Virgos and a Scorpio? I don't know why for this reading I'm hearing that this Scorpio, the Scorpio could, Scorpio could be their sun, moon or rising sign. It doesn't have to be their sun sign, but let's see. Give me the energy of the Scorpio. If I can shuffle, it feels a bit messy. So I don't know if the situation between you and the Scorpio is a little bit messy. And I also heard the um, word burnt out. So, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, despair. Give me the Scorpio's energy. Thank you, Spirit. So, we have house coming up. So, maybe you guys live with this person. Maybe there's an issue over a home. I don't know why I'm, I'm seeing somebody trying. I don't know. Is this Scorpio... I kind of feel like harassing you Virgos because it kind of feels like somebody might live in like a gated community right um with the gates there and it almost feels like somebody trying to get in so is this an energy like somebody constantly buzzing a buzzer or constantly ringing someone's phone or it kind of feels like that so show me going forward oh there is no going forward whoops Journey in reverse, but we don't usually take these in reverse, okay? Hmm. I have to bear in mind that that was in reverse. And it is a number 10. It almost like somebody doesn't want something to end. But again, with that energy of burnout. Can it go any further with that journey going coming in reverse? Has it gone... The, all the way it can i don't know there's something here about the number 30 someone could be 30 years old could be the number of somebody's door mess this up all right for my virgos dealing with a scorpio i don't know what is up with my shuffling today it might be the deck of cards all right so what do we have why is the house here for my virgos dealing with a scorpio what's the energy show me There goes dealing with a Scorpio. No cards. Ooh. What is the energy here? Thank you, Spirit. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's change decks. It kind of feels like somebody don't want me to get a message out. Which then kind of makes me think about spell work. So... See the Justice card as a part of the deck with the Death card, which is Scorpionic energy and the Justice in reverse. Hmm. Somebody doing something unjust. Like I said, this could be spell work is what came to mind. So what is this house card? Ooh. Yeah, and the Nine of Cups wants to fly out there. So again, Virgos, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, please be careful of your drinks and things like that, okay? What is the house card? Especially if you live with this person. What is the house card? Thank you. The Empress. Ooh, yeah. So is this Scorpio? Is this a mother? Is this your mother? Or is this someone you have children with? The Empress can, you know, sometimes represent a wife. Somebody maybe you're married to. What is this Empress energy? Oh, the Four of Cups wants to come out. So somebody here is definitely in the energy of regret. They're feeling like they miss an opportunity with an empress, it kind of feels like. Show me more. Now again, like I said, be careful of your drinks here. Yeah, look how there is a rat attached to that cup down there. 
you have the king of swords coming out in reverse show me more <laughs> the sun card okay and what else the eight of pentacles now the king of swords in reverse is an energy of somebody who's not very clever here now they may think they're clever right that's the energy it's given I'm smart, but in the reverse, you are, you may be smart, but you're a liar. I want to see you real quick. Let's see. So what is the Empress? Yeah, I don't know if there's some kind of lies that is coming about coming out about this Empress here. That definitely causes some kind of disappointment. The Sun card can talk about something being revealed. Yeah, it says the King of Swords in reverse is someone who has a lack of self-discipline. So I don't know if, like I said, you know, I don't know. It says here the King of Swords in reverse can also mean somebody not using their head or somebody losing it, right? Almost like losing their temper or someone here could have some kind of mental issues. Mentally unstable, emotionally unstable here. Now, if somebody is pregnant, then I don't know, maybe it's their hormones. What is the Empress and the King of Swords? What is the Empress and the King of Swords in reverse? Thank you, Spirit. Show me for my Virgos dealing with a Scorpio. Five of Pentacles. I don't know, Virgo, if you left somebody out in the cold here. And again, since I've started this video, the incense is still, the sage is still burning. I don't know if somebody is trying to keep a situation alive here when, like I said, it's on its last legs. <laughs> Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. I keep seeing the world card at the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Cups. So that is Scorpionic energy. Why is the Queen of Cups here? The Fool card. So I don't know if this person wants to take a leap of faith and come back towards you, right? One in a new beginning. Because they're unhappy here. Again, that energy of somebody turning up at somebody's home and constantly buzzing a buzzer or a doorbell or something like that or a letterbox. Is, it's almost the energy of just not giving up, not letting go, not walking away, not got moving forward. Look at that, the Seven of Swords or Virgo, you have moved away from this person because it was no longer emotionally fulfilling you. Like I said, because there was some lies that was that came to the surface, right? Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, stealing, trying to get away with something. But you see the two swords on the floor? Which is why the King of Swords is in reverse. Not as smart as they thought they were. You left evidence. You left a trail. So what is this journey? Bearing in mind it was in reverse. Virgo's dealing with a Scorpio. Thank you. The Ten of Cups. The King of Cups. So if you had a family with this person, I see the energy here of you missing. I don't know necessarily if, if you're going to be missing the family dynamic here. But you, if, like I said, if there were children involved, maybe you are in your emotions about how much time and effort and energy you spent with this person. I'm hearing for some of you up to three years. I'm hearing for some of you, you tried three times. What is the Ten of Cups? Thank you. Yeah, look at that. The Eight of Cups. This is walking away. But this is also walking away to go and find your wish fulfillment, your happiness. There's again, in this card, there's a mole right near that cup. I feel like... I feel like... Virgo... I feel like you put up with this situation for a while. I feel like you buried your own feelings and desires and wants to try and 
uh, what's the word, salvage this relationship, right? It's almost like you just couldn't, as much as you tried to bring peace and balance and harmony to whatever this is, I don't know if somebody was receptive. Now, this is also somebody has their eye on someone else. I don't know, Virgo, if you have been waiting, like I said, to go towards another situation, but you was trying to see if you could work this out. Like I said, maybe for the sake of the children. Like I said, if this person is expecting, maybe for the sake of that child. Whatever your reasons were for staying. Like I said, if this person is emotionally unstable, maybe that was a reason. But sometimes you have to move on and do what's best for you. I'm hearing especially if this situation was draining you physically, mentally, emotionally. What is the King of Cups? Virgo's dealing with a Scorpio coming out sideways. It was a blockage for you. So was this person a player? Was there a third party involved? Was this someone who just couldn't settle down? The Knight of Wands? And that may have upset you. Maybe you didn't let on that it upset you as much as it did. What is the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups? What is that? The Six of Swords, moving to calmer waters, being divinely guided. Saying enough is enough. No more mind games. No more tick for tax. No more of that energy, immature energy. And it's also the energy of somebody here, whoever was in the wrong. They may have thought it was a wise choice at the time. But it's clearly that down the line, someone here is regretting something. Especially if somebody has left the building. So what is the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands? Now this could also just be saying that, you know what? Someone here is now going after what it is they desire. What is the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands? So my Virgo is dealing with a Scorpio, the Six of Cups. Oh, someone may be going towards a soulmate here. Or again, someone could be going back to somebody from their past. Leaving this person behind and, I don't know, revisiting a past situation. What is the Six of Cups? I heard the Two of Cups. Oh, the tower. This is a realization. Somebody's had some kind of powerful realization here. Again, for a pentacles, they've been holding back from something wherever they're going. What is the tower? The world card coming out sideways, but the blockage was someone couldn't move on until something else ended here. All right. So give me some romance cards for my Virgos that are dealing with romance here. told you somebody here was dealing with a soulmate says yes this is your soulmate but then you also have coming out here let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally give me one more i feel like somebody was trying to control something here and coming in reverse but we do not take these in reverse but we do bear it in mind so i could take it two ways there is no reconciliation with this person this scorpio or vice versa that may now want you to come back right trying to reel you back in wanting to come forward um, because they don't want to miss this opportunity but it's still kind of it looks like dismissing the wrong that they had you know the wrong that they did in this situation but then if I was to turn it in the upright, like I said, I feel like somebody is leaving somebody and maybe going back to somebody else from their past. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. So where are we? Let's see where we are for time. Yeah, it's kind of run over a little bit. I'm seeing 14, 14 on the clock as I look. Now 14 boils down to a five. It will tell me it is time for a change. So... Just give me a couple cards for this. Wow, that came out real quick. Oh, give me some cards for this Scorpio, I was going to say, and it flew out. It says stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. It's from the very beginning without any cards. I said to you, I felt like this was a stalking energy or somebody who was harassing someone. 
It says spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Now, I could say that the front is for the Scorpio and the back is for my Virgo, right? You have realized that, hey, this situation is ridiculous. I'm not wasting any more energy or time with this person. I heard she crazy. That's what I heard. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Give me some more for this um, Scorpionic energy. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. You have whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Now, I also said something about spell work here. It says now is not the fucking time. Oop, so there's a warning there for someone. So Virgos, Scorpio, whoever is in here, this is what I have for you. Stay safe, love and light, guys.